Hello friends, my name is Brittany Lewis and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can watch more videos of me talking on the internet. I would love it if you guys stuck around. Please leave a comment because I love reading them. And make sure to follow any slash all of my social media because you just can't get enough of me, right? And I'm annoying and I have to do this thing like where I self-promo so that I can like build my brand. So yeah, here we go. And now that that awkward intro and self-promo is over with, let's get to the meat, the flesh of this actual video. So, I know that my audience is mainly college-aged females, high schoolers, and guys sometimes, but it's mainly like 80% girls, 20% guys, but yeah, just saying, that's a statistic that I got from my YouTube an analytics because I am a professional YouTube person now. <laughs> so here are some things I wrote on the list that you really should and need to bring to college. If you guys don't bring any of these things, there could be some problems. I highly, highly recommend you bring these things. I wrote down the most important, but there's a lot of important things you should bring. So it might be kind of a long list, so stick around, grab some popcorn. I'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. By the way, I've made a lot of other college videos, also some sorority videos. It's all in my college playlist. It's like called college stuff. I would definitely check that out. I have a move-in vlog. I have a dorm haul from last year. So if you want any more information about this and you want to get it from me, definitely check out that playlist. It is linked down below. Start in the bathroom slash toiletries area. A shower caddy. This is more for if you live in a dorm, but it also can work if you live in an apartment or any place with roommates. And it's this container that holds like your shampoo bottles, your razor, your scrubber, anything like that you want. And you keep it in there and that's your stuff and then you bring it to the shower or you walk down the hall to the communal showers whenever you're ready. Also, this is for if you live somewhere that has a communal shower, a communal bath. Um, I would recommend buying cheap, like super cheap flip flops and using those as shower shoes. And this is what my mom told me to do. Um, and you walk around in the shower and in the bathroom so you're not like getting fungus in your toes. It's, it's gross, it's a thing. With your roommates, you guys all have like your own towels. You probably don't wanna be using their towels. They don't wanna be using your towels. You could get your towels monogrammed or get a specific color for your towels and then keep them in a certain spot where you know that they are and you're ready to grab them and go to the shower. That's how you guys will stay clean and keep good hygiene. Get a mattress pad because the mattresses at college in the college dorms are not gonna be that comfortable. They're going to be basically the cheapest possible because they have to fill these dorms with so many beds and they don't wanna waste a lot of money on like hundreds and hundreds of nice mattresses. So, you know, get a mattress pad. You can get one from Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. It's like two or three inches, you know, and it's just like, you just sleep on it and it feels a lot better. I think they're amazing. They made my bed feel amazing. I still have it on my bed at home. I have a mattress pad on my normal bed at home like they're just mattress pads are definitely life changers I would definitely recommend getting one also for your bed get another set of sheets so that you don't have to like waste a lot of time walking up and down the stairs and washing your sheets every so often instead you can just change them out and then wash it saves you time I recommend getting velvet hangers thinner and less chunky than plastic hangers and they'll take up less space in your closet and that is the number one problem with living in a college dorm and apartment is the lack of space velvet hangers will help you a lot with saving space speaking of space one of the top thing, probably one of the most important things that I can recommend for you guys to use is storage. Buy storage containers. Like, you can get those plastic drawers from Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. I keep saying Target and Bed Bath & Beyond, but those are truly the best places to go for dorm shopping and Ikea. Get a bunch of them because you're going to be stashing papers, pencils, knickknacks around your room because there's not enough room in your dorm for it not to look cluttered all the time and that would drive me crazy. So if you have storage bins, you can just kind of stuff your stuff in there and look organized even though your life's actually falling apart. Really important is to bring a container of the basics of medicine. Um, stuff it with Advil, um, Band-Aids, Thermometer, Neosporin, just some cold medicine like Cold Ease, um, sore throat medicine, um, cough drops, just things like that so that you don't have to run straight to the doctor every time you need something and you might get headaches in college, you might be tired, you, you never know, you know, your mom's always like, oh here, take some Advil whenever you complain, but, like what happens when you go to college and you're like, oh my head hurts and like no one's there handing you Advil. Bring your own Advil to college, bring your own ibuprofen, whatever you use, Tylenol, you know, just ask your mom, hey, what do you think I should bring, or your dad, 
or some trusted older figure, what should I bring? And they'd be like, here's some medicine that you should bring. And probably just give you some and put it in a little baggie for you. Another thing you should definitely bring are healthy snacks. And this, you know, don't buy healthy snacks months before you move in. Like this is when you get there and your parents drop you off and you're like, hey, let's go shopping, let's get some healthy snacks. Get like granola bars, um, Gatorades, waters that you can keep in your apartment, um, water bottle containers actually, so you can go around campus because usually a lot of campuses have water fountains or like water stations where you can fill up your bottle and save the environment and not waste plastic. Yeah, because you're gonna wanna snack a lot in college when you're stressed or if you're hungry. You don't wanna walk outside of your dorm all the time because you're lazy and you're watching Netflix and you just wanna snack. Um, I like keeping popcorn in my room, in my dorm, in my kitchen at all times. Popcorn's a great snack for me. I mean, it might not be the healthiest thing ever, but it's light and it's filling and it's salty and I love it. And it's not as bad as like eating potato chips. I, or I think it's not. You Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a fitness guru, sorry. If you're living in a dorm and not an apartment that doesn't come with a kitchen, I would recommend bringing your own mini fridge so you can keep like meals in there, waters, smoothies, whatever you want just to keep cool. Um, I know a bunch of friends that lived in dorms that they had their own mini fridges and it really helps. If you can, I would bring a toaster just so you can toast toast in the morning because sometimes you gotta rush and just pop some toast in the toaster, put some peanut butter, almond butter, whatever kind of butter you want, or just regular butter, and walk out the door with it and that's just really easy. I mean, the toaster is not a huge necessity, but like if you want to bring it, I think it'd be cool. I know Keurigs might be kind of expensive from the get-go, but if you buy one of the older um, versions of it, it might not be as expensive. And I think over time you end up saving more money than going to Starbucks or buying coffee somewhere else every day by using your own Keurig. So I definitely recommend if you have a Keurig at home or an extra Keurig or like you want to buy one and save up, I think it's a really good investment for college. I think a microwave would be really great to bring because popcorn and frozen meals are kind of lifesavers in college, and so yeah, bring a microwave. I heat up my little Amy's frozen meals that I get from Publix slash Trader Joe's or pretty much any, any grocery store. They're like all vegetarian, they're really good, low sodium. I love Amy's meals. Another thing that people always, I forgot about this, okay? Always forget about and don't remember, you know, you should bring some cups, bring some bowls, plates, silverware, or disposable bowls, plates, and silverware, it doesn't really matter. Also, salt and pepper, which is like very funny, but you're gonna forget salt and pepper probably, and you might need it for your food. Obviously, you're going to need a backpack, you're gonna need pens and paper, you're gonna need a calculator and a laptop. Just do your schoolwork because, hey, that's what you come to college for, don't forget. You also should bring some clothes for going out and if you plan on partying in college at all. Bring a lot of comfy clothes like leggings and big t-shirts because that is basically my everyday uniform for going to school or walking around to the library. I don't wear cute stuff every day. Workout clothes because you need to work out in college. Tennis shoes. Um, your cute shoes, regular shoes, pretty much I, I just bring all my shoes to college. It was kind of a hassle, but I still did it. Bring a pair of shoes that you don't care about getting dirty. Like I bought a pair of these Keds from Walmart and I'd wear those to game days and parties because those places are both really muddy sometimes and messy and you don't want to mess up your cute nice shoes. If you guys have any more college videos or sorority videos that you guys think I should do, I'm kind of doing a series on it right now since school's about to start up again. Comment them down below. Also, if you want me to do videos about high school since I graduated and I did that a couple years ago, feel free to comment ideas for those too because I would love to help you guys with that also. Bye guys!